question is a bit of light about your shoe. Uh, yes, I was in Malacca last uh, The report of the FAO, the Food and Agricultural Organisation of the UN, that came out on, on Monday, and this was about the, the famine situation in parts of Unity State and the food uh, deficits in parts of other parts of the country as well. Uh, I was I had visited Unity State and some of those areas around Leah uh, just two weeks ago, so I can confirm that the situation there is indeed uh, serious in terms of uh, food food shortages. Um, and I guess that the, the the two or three issues that I just want to point out is first of all. There is nothing um, about these food shortages which is about a drought or climatic problems. It is all about uh, man-made problems, which is conflict, which has displaced people. It has meant that people ha are not able to partake in their ordinary livelihoods. They've been displaced, and as a result of that, uh, find themselves short of coping mechanisms and rely have to rely on um, outside food aid. There's a, an increase in the number of people that we're trying to, to reach, with, uh, particularly with food aid. Um, that's the, the critical issue. And that's um, getting more than five and a half million people will be f in food deficit uh, this year. So that is an increase uh, from, from last year of about half a million people. Um, but in addition to that, obviously, there's uh, an array of health uh, requirements that, that is needed um, in addition to food. Um, although food takes up about, a, I think, about a billion dollars of that one and a half uh, billion, uh, or a bit slightly more than one and a half billion. The United Nations will try and do with, the, with the, obviously, the support of donors. There's going to be a need to be a, a, a very big donor mobilization in terms of being able to rate, um, attract money to uh, to fund the, the shortfalls. So we're looking at a $1.6 billion um, humanitarian appeal this year. It's, a, it's an enormous amount of money. <clears throat> and it's particularly tragic, as I say, because most of the problems are, are brought about because there isn't peace in the country and people are leaving and fleeing their homes. The international community, certainly the United Nations and many humanitarian organisations have struggled with um, gaining access. There's obviously logistical problems in the state of roads, but more importantly, it's being able to get through checkpoints um, and get permissions to be able to travel from one place to another. And the fact that he mentioned, made a mention of this in his speech, um, and that he would ensure that we were able to get to particular areas was, was, was very welcome uh, as well. And we'll certainly follow up on that um, as well. I think the most important thing for us is to make sure that the, any national dialogue is inclusive. That means that we, have, we are looking at the widest range of actors coming into that. If we are going to be genuine about seeking peace and, uh, and ultimately there's some reconciliation involved in that, then we have to spread the dialogue wide.